what you gonna do do for us why are we standing down when we can't stand up who would we be with equity we won't know unless we make the grass green they wear crowns above their heads. In 2003, the New York Court of Appeals for Campaign for Fiscal Equity that the state constitution requires New York to provide all of its students a meaningful high school education. One that prepares them to function productively in civic participants and to obtain competitive employment. Yes, sir, I understand the schools in this zip code have not shown the necessary results, but what you're clearly forgetting is that we owe it to these children to give them some additional funding. They need newer textbooks, paper, adequately trained teachers. Yes, sir. Yes, I know that it's equal, but they need more than the same. They need more because the schools in the suburbs started out ahead and the schools in the city cannot be expected to catch up without some extra help. Well, sir, you need to realize not everyone can leave the city and move into the suburbs, but that doesn't mean they don't want the children to have a meaningful education. If we want... Sir? Sir? Uh, politicians turn to poly tricksers. They want to make us broke and stupid, we can't make it out. Whether it's making it a college or a bus route. But I promise inequity never gets to me. A class system just turned into a caste system. We focus on building buildings instead of building our future. It's us. We stay silent. It's us. The court also described essential resources necessary to provide a sound basic education. Children are entitled to minimally adequate physical facilities and classrooms, which provide enough light, space, heat, and air to permit children to learn. <laughs> air. I never knew air was a privilege. Minimally adequate? What does that even mean? Oh, That's the standard. It's like, it's like a minimally adequate poem. How now? Brown cow. The end. Anyways, <laughs> children should have access to minimally adequate instrumentalities of learning, desks, chairs, pencils, and reasonably current textbooks. I mean, according to our textbooks, Richard Nixon is still president. Or it's like a children's story. Once upon a time, a dog went outside. He died. The yeah. end. <laughs> <laughs> Why we gotta live like this? The government on my back, I'm losing my wits. Lying to us and they'll never call it quits. When will we get the gist and realize this isn't it? Children are also entitled to minimally adequate teaching by sufficient personnel adequately trained to teach with appropriate class sizes. Appropriate? In my classes, there are 35 kids or more. When research clearly shows that the ideal is 20 to 23 students per class, just because we're in a school that's in the state's blind spot does not mean that they're allowed to mistreat us. What a bugs raiding classrooms, broken bathrooms, and wondering if we'll ever get the cash soon to make a difference, improve our existence, be persistent, and no upper class resistance. Don't be so difficult and complacent. We just want our rightful changes. Are we just not important enough to be held to a higher standard? My history teacher is untrained, underqualified, and she don't want to help us out anyhow. I come to school to learn, but I can't face the chewed up pencils and crashing computers. Why can't we get the basic things that we need, like paper and pencils, so that when I come to class, I don't have to hear her lame response on how we're not staples. Education is free, but at this rate, it's not even standard. It's not even my battle to fight. Yo. There's a lot of stuff to say about a kid from special ed But then you wonder why the damn economy is dead And if you take into account what the system freaking feeds you All you're left to think about is how they beat you And there's a lot of stuff that you don't know about me And it has four letters, ADHD So quit playing with scissors and just cut the crap Cause the life they say we're living just leads you to a trap Oh, they gang banging and slinging and ringing and then want to be hurt when somebody say they acting dumb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I swear, I watch these kids walk through them hallways into mischief and all they doing is hurting Miss Lattimore's heart. I love them. I love all my babies. All my babies. A school can improve, but 
What does that do for my Hispanic babies and my black babies? Do they improve? I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to say that I don't, I don't know how to fix the problem, but I, I want to help. I swear I want to help, but how though? What you gonna do? Hey yo, I'm done with this. When I'm not there, everybody miss me. But when I'm in there, the teachers don't even got work for me. Don't even got a single sheet of paper that they could give me. Acting like it's a crime to get some paper. Or is it just for a kid like me? That's when I dip. I went straight home. <laughs> Ain't like anybody there anyways. My zip code can be the cause of my inequity. My skin color can be the only thing that they see. You've been beating around the bushes cause we ain't bright, but we gon' fight to the pipe because it's our rights. No, you don't know how it feels to see your own child emotionally hurt. I work two jobs. I work for UPS as a package deliverer, and I take shifts at the grocery store, all to save money from my daughter's college funds. None of us want our children to fail because failure is not the option. I mean, how can you graduate when you failed? How can you understand the words or the work when there's no tutoring? Why do we stand down when we should be standing up? We can't stand down. We've got to stand up. We've got to rise. We've got to show the power to change. They lower our standards. So when we get anything from them, it's considered enough. Then we grow up complacent, thinking we ain't nothing, simply because we're young. So we're told to shut up. But there ain't no cavalry coming. It's us. We stay silent. It's us. Are you a student? You have to stand up. Are you a teacher? You have to stand up. Are you a parent? You have to stand up. Why do we sit down? Why do we sit down? Why do we sit down? When we should stand up! What you gonna do, do for us? Why we standing down when we can't stand up? Who would we be with equity? We won't know unless we make the grass green. Then we're crowned above.